Video 7. Backing up and loading configuration blocks and patches. This video describes the task number 7 of this VDay 1 practice. Now, you are about to see a different way to configure a device in Junos. Instead of typing individual commands, you can use a configuration block that may be in different formats, default, set, or patch. You simply load configuration blocks with the load command. The configuration block can be stored either locally as a file in the device or in a remote server. You can also copy a configuration block from an external text editor and paste it directly into the CLI session, provided that the appropriate load command is ready to accept the input. Let's see in this video some examples with local files and leave the copy and paste scenario for the lab practice. When you execute the operational command on the left, you are saving the output of the show configuration command into a file. This is essentially like making a backup of the active configuration. This file can be transferred via FTP or SCP to a remote backup server. Likewise, you can save the candidate configuration with the CLI session in configuration mode. In order to save the whole configuration, you just need to execute the command from the root of the tree. When you execute delete from the root, you are basically emptying the candidate configuration. In this example, you are using a backup file to restore the configuration. With load override, you are asking to completely replace the candidate configuration, which happens to be empty, with the contents of the file. This time, the net result is similar to a rollback, since nothing was committed. In this other example, you are saving the configuration of the loopback interface to a new file. You can see its contents with the operational command file show. Okay, now let's delete the loopback interface from the candidate database and restore the configuration block by using the new file. The first two attempts yield a syntax error. First, it fails because you try to load the relative configuration block from the root of the tree. The second attempt also fails because you need to specify a new keyword, relative. Once you do it, the contents of the file are correctly loaded. In this case, you are using the merge option instead of override since the goal is to add something to an existing configuration without deleting the existing content. The configuration block can also be in set format. This case is not shown in the video, but it's covered in the practice. The next flavor of the load command is more useful than it looks at first sight. After making a change in the configuration database, there is a patch pending to be committed. This patch can be saved to a file or copied to an external text editor. You can use a patch to apply a configuration change to one or several devices. And the patch can be much more complex, covering several parts of the configuration tree. Let's roll back these changes and apply them again, this time with the load patch command.